At Monday's annual Super Bowl news conference, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell shrugged aside allegations that the league staged Travis Kels and Taylor Swift's romance. If Kels breaks the odds by proposing to the spectacular performance during Sunday's Super Bowl, Ontarian bettors may win more than 8-1 at FanDuel Sportsbook in Casino Canada. The reward, however, will most certainly be insufficient for a family of four to purchase Swift tickets on the secondary market when she performs at the Rogers Centre in Toronto in November. There are appropriately the right amount caps on those bets, so that it stays a fun prop bet," said Andrew Snade, executive vice president of marketing at FanDuel Group, in an interview Thursday on Radio Row. A FanDuel spokeswoman told the Action Network that the prop had a $100 value restriction. On Thursday night, the cheapest seat for Swift's November 14 event on StubHub cost $903. While FanDuel did not provide an update on the wager's breakdown, ESPN.com claimed that the yes option received 55% of the vote last week. Kels and the Kansas City Chiefs are 2.5-point underdogs against the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 58. Kels is the fourth candidate for Super Bowl MVP at FanDuel, with odds of plus 1,400. FanDuel Sportsbook, which operates in over 20 states, does not offer the prop in the United States. The rules for off-field props are less stringent in Ontario. As of Friday, bookmakers had odds of plus 820 on the Chiefs' tight end proposing in Sin City. FanDuel gave odds of minus 2,000 to bettors who chose no. It's fun that they could have people predict who would be the next mayor of Toronto, when the first snowstorm is going to happen. And now will Travis win the Super Bowl, and drop to a knee and propose?" Snade said. Over the previous few years, celebrities such as Lebron James, Kevin Hart, Jamie Foxx, and Vanessa Hudgens have worked as sportsbook brand ambassadors. When asked if FanDuel would consider hiring Swift in such a role,